Hi everybody, it's Shari here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little paper wands that go in some little goodie bag treats here. So here's one that I made previously and I thought this would be a great project to show you how to make. Um, it just uses paper straws and some die cuts and some stamps here. So I have some paper straws here that I've just kind of collected. I found them when they're pretty cheap and just kind of stocked up. And I've got a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock here. This is by Basil and it's the little dot pattern that they make. You're gonna need two of die cuts of each goodie bag piece to make one goodie bag. So I'm gonna cut this piece in half, just at six inches, and then I can get two die cuts out of each half and that'll make one goodie bag. So I can get two bags out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I'm just going to line that goodie bag die up right against the edge and tack it down with some post-it note tape and run it through my cuddle bug machine. And I actually have the extra long plates for my cuddle bug that I like to use with this die. You can use the regular size, but this kind of makes it nice because it's not going right to the edge on all four edges. So I'm just going to get that between those plates and run it through my machine. And then I'm going to cut a second one here. You can see I'm lining it up. Got the first one cut up there. So you're going to use two of these pieces to make one bag. So I'll just run this one through my die cut machine. And here's the second piece. Now that first piece didn't quite cut along the edge, but you'll see me trim that off later. I'm actually just going to take a straight edge and a craft knife and trim that little piece right off that didn't quite cut through. The second one I did, I, I um, kind of shimmed it up a little more, got it closer to the center and not quite so close to the edge of my plate. I think that was my problem on the first one. Now that I have my two pieces, I'm just gonna fast forward through this part so you can see me assemble the bag. And I like to use some double-sided tape here. This is um, American Crafts, uh, this to that, but you can use any type of um, double-sided adhesive. I like this one because it's easy to tear, so I don't have to cut it quite so much. And you're going to put one piece on all those flaps and then some pieces on the bottom of one of them. So I like to line up the bottoms first, and then I can just adhere each side to the front and back. Just like that, very simple. So now it's time to cut the star shapes to make my little wands. So I've got two of the puffy star stackables. Now this is not the biggest one, it's the next to biggest and then the next one down. And I picked out an orange and a yellow cardstock here. So I'm gonna cut a larger orange star and a smaller yellow star. So the yellow star will be on the front. So I'm just going to tack those down with some post-it note tape and run those through my die cut machine as well. So here I have my star pieces here and you can see how they're going to layer on top of each other just like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is make my pieces that go on the front. So for the one I'm making in this particular video, I'm making the one that had the little bat on it. So I'm going to get the little bat on the block and ink it up with some Memento ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock here. Because I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring, so that's why I'm using the Memento black ink. And a lot of times I stamp out two so that if I mess one up, I can just move on to the next one. Now I totally skipped over my coloring because, not because I didn't want to show you guys, but honestly it was blurry. My camera went crazy and the whole thing was blurry and I just decided to save you the blurriness. So you can see I've colored my little bat with Copics and I've used the coordinating dies to cut him out. So now here I have a little strip of black cardstock that I cut at three quarters of an inch wide. And I'm going to white heat emboss the sentiment on there. So I use my powder anti-static tool. 
I've mounted the Happy Halloween sentiment on a block and I'm going to stamp with Bursa Mark ink and use some white embossing powder. So the three and a quarter wide piece is great for the sentiments in this set that have two lines stacked on top of each other. It fits in there perfectly. So I'm adding that white embossing powder and then I'm just going to use my heat tool to melt that embossing powder. So now that my sentiment's heat embossed, I'm going to kind of lay things out here to kind of figure out the design that I want. So I'm going to lay that on there where I want that banner to be. I'll cut that down later and you can see my little bat there and I've decided I kind of want to just sprinkle some stars or something around it. So I'm going to use the little line of stars that comes with the 3x4 inch stitch journaling card. I use this little line of stars and the little line of hearts all the time. I like that you can cut out six little stars all at once and then they're so very tiny and they're great for embellishments around. So I'm just using the leftover purple paper from where I cut the treat bags and I'm just going to cut out some stars using this die. So you can see my little stars up there. So I'm going to assemble my little wand here. So I'm going to put the glue, hot glue, on the paper straw and I'm going to glue the smaller star on first. This is kind of the key here because then you know all the glue is hidden by the smaller star. Because if you glue the big star on first you might go too far down and then you'll see all that big gob of glue. And I actually didn't put quite enough on there so I added a little more to the bottom just to stabilize it. And I'm using my grid mat to kind of make sure that it's lined up straight. So now I'm going to put glue on the back side here. And I'll use that grid mat again to line it up and make sure that bigger star gets lined up straight. And I put a lot of this hot glue on there. My glue gun did not want to stand up there. But I put a whole lot on there so that I can kind of move it around a little bit and it goes into the edges and that straw that isn't tempted to kind of roll at all. It kind of makes a nice little border on both sides of the straw. So there is the base of the wand and I like that if you put the wand in between them it's hidden on the back side and it gives some dimension to the wand itself because it pops that front star up a little bit. So I'm trimming off my little sentiment here and I'm just going to cut some banner ends using my scissors. So I cut down the middle and then I connect the corners to the slit. That kind of gives it a nice little finished edge. Just like that. So I'm going to lay my pieces on here where I want them to go. I'm going to place the bat and place the little purple stars around. And right now they're just kind of sitting on there. I figured out my placement. So now I'm going to adhere all those pieces down. And a lot of times I like to take a picture of where all the pieces are with my phone, but I actually use my phone to film, so that doesn't happen in this video. But I like to take a picture so I remember where they all are, so when I pick one up, I don't, when I go back to glue it down, I don't think, well, now where was this? So I'm just going to glue all these little pieces down, and you'll see I'm going to move all these stars off and do the banner. See, this is where... Having your phone would come in very handy. I'm trying to remember exactly where I had them. And I'm using the liquid glue here so I can kind of move the pieces around a little bit and get them placed exactly where I want them. And then I'm just going to add some Wink of Stella glitter to the stars just to give them a little bit of shine. So now the final touch to this little wand is some of this spooky wand trimmings twine. 
So I'm just going to tie a bow around the bottom. I didn't even really need to secure them with any glue. They stayed in place very nicely. But you could secure them with a glue dot or some hot glue on the back side if you wanted to. So here's my little treat bag put together and I've got some green tissue paper tucked in there. But honestly, I, I thought, well, it looks a little unfinished because that bag was very plain. So, so I took some black cardstock and the grassy border dye and just added some silhouetted grass to the bottom of my bag to create a little scene. And I colored the jack-o'-lantern with Copics as well and cut that out with the matching dye. And I, I thought it still needed a little bit of something. I thought about putting some ribbon on the front. But what I ended up doing was taking that die with the little tiny stars and cutting out some yellow stars that match the wand and sprinkling those around in the sky. So I'll just add a few little stars to the sky and I'll use my liquid glue and my tweezers to do that. These stars are much easier to put down with tweezers just because otherwise I get glue all over my fingers and just make a big mess. So I'm just going to add three little stars and then I'll also add some um, Wink of Stella clear glitter to those so they match the purple stars on the wand as well. So here's my finished little treat bag. Here's a close up of the wand that I made in this video. And here's some close ups of some of the other ones that I made for the other treat bags. Each one of them is different which makes it even more fun. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.